G'day, welcome to The Hot End. Just put together a short video on using ABS on the Creality K1 Max. That's the model that you're seeing being printed at the moment. Now, everything you see in this video is printed in ABS and sliced in the Orca slicer. So, at the end of the video, I'll show you the settings that I change in Orca Slicer to print ABS and the ABS that I'm using in these clips is all Ararum ABS. So this first one was printed at 0.2 with tree supports and it came out really nicely. I can't even pick layer lines in this. Now this particular roll of ABS I've had for maybe four years tucked away in a in a plastic box with some desiccant um, and it's still printing perfectly. ABS as you may or may not know is my favorite go-to filament for printing just about anything except stuff that's going to be used outside because it's not really uh, UV stable so it it tends to degrade in the hot Australian Sun but this is just it's magnificent the way it prints ABS now I had struggled with bed leveling this is the mesh of my original bed and I thought I'll go ahead and fix this so it was a painful process but I got it to this using the suggestion from the Creality site. And it's now okay. Um, the auto leveling doesn't seem to, <coughs> excuse me, uh, work all that well. And you can see by the marks on the print surface here that I had a lot of trouble trying to get the, the bed leveling correct. But I still have a slight mound in the middle of the bed <clears throat> but anyway, the Creality people say that the bed levelling will compensate for up to three millimetres of difference in the bed level. So I've, I've left it alone. Um, so unless your bed is, is completely out of whack, I'd, I'd suggest that you leave it alone because it are, are really fiddly job to try and get a manual level on this and it still doesn't seem to make that much difference. Now what I'm printing here is some parts. I designed these in Tinkercad. Uh, again you can see it's a Rarum ABS. Uh, these parts are for another project that I'm doing um, but yep yeah, they're all ABS. These were printed at 0.28 layer height to make it a bit faster. And there they are. Still prints perfectly. Like you can see the layer lines at 0.28, but for what these are going to be used for, that doesn't matter. It's not for aesthetics, it's just to be used. But bed adhesion here, absolutely fine, no problem even though the, the center one was a bit tight. Now I adjusted, I adjusted, I adjusted the uh, Z offset once I'd played with the bed leveling and I'll show you how I did that at the end because uh, I find that the Z offset was actually printing too close to the bed with ABS. I think because the bed is uh, heated to 100 degrees plus, 100 degrees C that is, and um, it tends to change the, the bed height for some reason, so I have adjusted that. Now this model is from the um, Creality Slicer, actually the Cura um, Slicer people, and it's to show off their tree supports. Again, this is in ABS, and I actually sliced it in Orca Slicer rather than the um, the um, 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 
Oh, it's gone out of my head. Anyway, um, removing the tree supports was, was fine. They all came off really nicely. And um, Cura was the one I'm trying to think of. Um, so yeah, you're supposed to slice it in Cura to show off their tree supports. So I did it in Orca Slicer instead to show their tree supports. And even though this is ABS and it was printed at 0.2, it came out really nice. It's, oh, I forget the name of it, Dragon Pen Cup or something. But now you're probably thinking, what about big things in ABS? They can be problematic with warping and uh, layers uh, not adhering and what have you. So I printed this tray. Now this printed out perfectly. Bed adhesion was perfect. The uh, first layer went down beautifully and there was no uh, splitting of the layers. Came out really, really nice. Now here is the settings that I changed. The only one I changed is right down the bottom there. I increased the max volumetric setting to 16 rather than 9. And this is the code that I put in to increase the Z offset by 0 0.09 millimeters. That's it for this one. And I hope to see you soon on the next videos. Please subscribe.